high students. In the first part of success differentiation, we have discussed what is higher order derivatives and how can we find the higher order derivatives of the function. In this chapter, we are going to find the second derivative of some functions and its proof. First question is find a square of a very expert. If x is equal to a t square and y is equal to t, y is equal to 2 a t and x is equal to a t square, is a parameter function. And the derivative of x with respect to t, the x value t. is equal to a into two t that is two a t and divided by t is two a into one that is two divided by dx of is equal to divided by t divided by dx by dt that is dy by dt is 2a divided by 2ad. So we get unit. That way we have studied in the parameter function. Now we are going to find the second derivative of this function. Therefore d square going by dx square. For what is d square by dx square? d square by dx square is d by dx of dy by dx d by dx of dy by dx so we have d by dx of dy by dx is 1 by t here there is a problem function is given in t but we have to find the derivative of the function with respect to x Therefore, we have to convert this function d by dt of 1 by t into the element this dt multiplied by dt and introduced on dx. This dx goes to here. Now, the derivative 1 by t is minus 1 by t square into what about dx? dt by dx. dt by dx is reciprocal of dx by dt. 1 by 2. So the answer is minus 1 by 2 a t u is the answer. Minus 1 by 2 a t u. So in the case of parameter function, the first derivative is obtained in terms of the parameter and we have to find the second derivative with respect to x. So dy by d dy by dx of d by dx of dy by dx can written as d by dt of the parameter is t then d by dt of dy by dx into dt by dx the parameter is theta d by d theta of dy by dx into d theta by dx okay x is equal to a into cos t plus log tan t by t and o is equal to a sin t. This is also a parameter function. Now the x by dt is equal a into the weight of cos t is minus sin t. Log tan t by 2 function of the function for 1 by tan t by 2 into tan t by 2 is 6 by t by 2 
into order by two t by two is one by two. Now we we'll have a into minus sine t plus one by tan t by two is four t by two. Or t by two is cos t by two by sine t by two. Cos t by two by sine t by two into six squares one by cos square t by two into one by two. Here from cos t by two we can see now the denominator is in standard form two sine t by two into cos t by two two sine t by two into cos t by two is sine t. So here a into minus sin t plus one by sin t. Now cross multiply we have a into minus sin square t plus one by sin t. One minus sin square t is cos square t. A cos square t by sin t. This is dx by dt. For dx by dt we have. Now we have to find dy by dt. Now dy by dt is the derivative of a is a constant in the sin t is cos t. A cos t. Now find dy by dx. Therefore, dy by dx r is equal to dy by dt divided by dx into. Let me use another formula. dt by dx because of dx by dt is a fraction. One function is a fraction, and another is an odd fraction. A cos t into the same problem of dx by dt sin t by a cos square t. Here a, a and on cos t, cos t gets cancelled. Now we have sin t by cos t is tan t is the answer. This is d by dx. Now we are going to find d square y by dx square. There is a formula here. The parameter is the t, so divide by t of tan t into to eliminate this t t multiplying by t t variance. The derivative of tan t is six square t into t t by dx is the same proper of this sin t by a cos square. T. Sin t by a cos square t. That is sin t one by a into sin t sin t by here six square t into one by cos t into sin t by cos. T. Therefore, we have one by a into Tan t into c cube of t. This is the answer. This way, we can find the second derivative of a parameter function, which is very important for the examination point of view. Now, if we is equal sin log x, so that d square by dx square plus x into d y by dx plus a is equal to o square. Here, so a is equal to sine of x. Now find the derivative of d y by dx is equal to 
cos log x sub the radian of log x is in our test we have a denominator if a denominator comes cos multiplying so we have x divided by x is equal to cos log x now differentiating again with respect to x differentiate again with respect to x differentiating again with respect to x we have first function in the derivative of second function plus second function in the that is the y by the x or in the derivative of first function in this one is equal to cos log x minus sin log x in the log x is 1 by x again we get the denominator here so multiply the over by that denominator multiply by x so x square into the square by the x square plus x by the x is equal to Minus uh, sine log x. Sine log x is okay. so it becomes minus. It implies that x square into d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx plus we see cos into this way we can go. Can you follow this? Here we find first derivative. We get the denominator cos multiplying. Now differentiating again. Again we get the denominator cos multiplying. And last term becomes the question. So replace sin log x with y. So we have minus y. Minus y becomes plus y. Then we can go this question. Okay. Next question. See if y is equal to Cosine cos x. Find d square by d x square in terms of y. Find d square y by d x square in terms of y along y along. That means the sum function will convey only y. Function. Y function and y the variable point. And for us, dy by dx sub is equal to minus 1 by root of 1 minus x square. So d square y by dx square is equal to minus 1 u by d form. Root of 1 minus x square into 0 minus minus 1 into root of 1 minus x square minus x by root of 1 minus x square. So, by heart, the derivative of root of 1 minus x square minus x by root of 1 minus x square. Root of 1 plus x square x by root of 1 minus x square. Root of x square plus 1, x by root of x square plus 1. Root of x square minus 1, 1 by, so x by root of x square. So similarly, root of 1 minus x square is minus x square root of 1 minus x square. Here, root of 1 minus x square root of cos theta. Now, cos and cos x is equal to y. Therefore, cos y is equal to x. Or x is equal to cos 1. 1 minus x square is 1 minus cos square y, that is sin square y. Root 1 minus x square is root of sin square y, that is sin y. Substituting all these values here, so we have x is cos y by root 1 minus sin y 
into minus x squared is cos psi square of 4. So the answer is cos by psi 4 by into cos x square of 4. This is the answer. 4 by into cos x square of 4. Here minus, 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 minus. So here for minus. Minus 4y into cos x square. So this the function is to is equal to cos inverse x and we have to find the derivative of second derivative. We have to find the second derivative in terms of y norm. I will divide by dx and d square by dx square and substituting all the values of x in terms of y. So we get the problem. Here are the Here is to only x plus 1 is equal to so that d square by dx is equal to dy by dx now. Now we have to find the derivative of 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 Log e raised to e is y. Log e raised to x is x. Log e raised to e is y. Log e by b is log e minus log b. But log 1 is 0. Now divide by dx of is equal to log x is 1 by x. Now for x second derivative d square over by dx square minus of 1 into 1 by x is minus 1 by x square and we came 1 by x is minus 1 by x here I am writing this function as minus 1 in the whole square by x plus 1 in the whole square Again, we have minus 1 by x plus 1 in the whole square it is equal to minus 1 by x plus 1 in the whole square is dy by dx. So it becomes uh, dy by dx the whole square from 1. Here, the and the uh, chemist. If y is equal to a e raised to a minus s, b e raised to a s, for that d square y by d square minus of m plus n into d y by d s. Plus m and o is equal to zero. Another type of successive question. Here, a by dx of is equal to a into a raised to a max of in the m plus b e raised to a max in the m. Now by second order to d square, y by d x square, m a into e raised to m max of n d m again. Similarly, m b into e raised to m max of n d m. So we have m square a e raised to m max plus m square b in raised to minus. This is here the answer is b square over by dx square minus m plus n into dy by dx plus 
m n y so this square the exponential m square a e raised to the max plus m square b e raised to m x minus uh, m plus 7 divided by the x is m a e raised to m x plus m b e raised to m x now one more problem Yang mana tu? Yang mana itu? Which is a raised to x plus b raised to x. Now move to the right side. Here x square b raised to x plus x square b raised to x. Now minus m square a raised to x minus m square a raised to m x minus in the plus minus so m e n b e raised to m x now plus minus m m a e raised to m x positive positive Negatif atau ini positif lagi minus. Yang supaya minus minus. Dan plus yang mana a minus to m minus plus yang mana b minus to m minus. Tapi yang permanent. Yang supaya yang supaya yang supaya yang supaya b minus to m minus. M1, M1, and all of those get cancelled. So it is zero, Z equal to R. Then we can go. This is another method to find a third of a successive organization. And that was it. We is equal to e raised to a cos inverses for that 1 minus x square up in the way minus x y1 minus a square up what is equal to so in this question divide by x y1 is same as divide by x here this way y1 is same as divide by x e raised to a cos inverse x in the loop a cos inverse x is an inside function so a in the loop minus 1 by root of minus x here we have 1 root of minus x per denominator so cross multiply root of 1 minus x per in the way 1 is equal to minus a e raised to a cos inverse x now we can change it again. With respect to x. First function in loop. Root 1 minus x squared in loop. The ratio of y1 is y2. Plus y1 in loop. The ratio of root 1 minus x squared is minus x by root 1 minus x. That we have discussed in the earlier question. Or one minus x squared is equal to minus a into e raised to a cos inverse x. That's how it is here. E raised to a cos inverse x into a into minus one by root one minus x. Again, we have one denominator here and here also. Multiply both by that denominator. Multiply by that denominator that is over minus x square. So over minus x square into over minus x square. Over minus x square into a two. Minus of here x y one. Here it becomes. 
minus of into minus plus. The denominator of that cancel now a square divided to a cos inverse of x. But a square divided to a cos inverse x is 1. So it becomes a square and 1. Symbolize that 1 minus x square and 1 into minus x y1 minus of x square is equal to 0. Hence, we can go like this. Isn't it? So now again, two more questions for the Marcus book as well as question one was. And if you find a difficulty, please. Thank you.